okay welcome back uh, now it's time to create the registration page uh, you as you can remember yesterday in the previous class we have created up to that places uh, we can navigate to the register login and log out page so now it's time to create the registration page so for registration i search the google tailwind css react registration form and i got the link and i'm just copying the markup so as it is a full stack development so i will emphasis on mongodb uh, the app router the api and everything and functionality not the markup so that's why i'm copying the markups from the internet okay so it's registration page done let's see save it and let's see whether it is Popping up or not? Yes, so I got the registration page. Okay, I got the registration page. Log out page. Okay, registration page. Where is the registration page? Anything wrong? Yeah, I got the registration page, and I need to have some changes already registered, then not registered. Login. Okay already register then login login and instead of button we are just giving it a link and link means it should be come from the next link in the previous video i also told that link should be from the next link okay uh, this is auto suggestion auto importing and uh, sorry if link should be login okay i think now it's workable login it's login okay done fine so we need name email password and confirm not known it confirm password confirm password we only need name email and password okay and what we need to do we need to uh, retrieve the event value field value right uh, when any user write his name email or password we have to get it or retrieve it and uh, keep it in the state okay uh, let's go so i am declaring it here const use a state hook name const name sorry const set name equal to user state and initially it's blank or I can give some name say sharply let's say Shakil and name const so there is a error over here const name const email set email equal to use state with the state hook and this is main default mail initial or initial setup and then const password Set password called to use the state hook and give it initial value say one two three okay and as we import the user state so we should import it from React use 
it okay and as we are uh, using the use state hook so no longer it is the by default nextjs is the uh, server component i mean it's uh, server side rendering so as we are using use state hooks no so no longer it is server side it will render server side it is render client side use client otherwise it will show a zero okay and let's see is anything wrong over here okay everything is working all right so from every field we have to get the name email and password okay okay so in the every field we will give the name you see what is the name level div and it should be here value equal to name okay as it is name and on chains on chains equal to set name first of all event set name e dot target dot value e dot target dot value okay so then email value equal to email email and on change change equal to on change equal to event set email e dot target dot value okay so for saving time if we copy this this to line and come to password this is called password password and set password password in the target of the you have to have the basic understanding of react before getting good understanding of this tutorial so uh, every when in when the user type his name email or password so let's console log console dot log whether we are getting the name email or password okay name email email password what is the wrong okay this is the default name okay if we get john 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 and one two three four five six yeah uh, it's also logging and we can successfully We can successfully getting that name even a password again. Geo is in John. Geo is in John. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, John, John email. .com. So we are successfully getting the name, email, and password for better understanding. Uh, you can give it a console table. Let's see what. It will give you a, give you a nice format, I think. Mm. 
no it's not giving the same way what i got okay no problem so now we can uh, we can retrieve or get the you uh, from field name from field values like name email and password we can add, we can console log so in the next video uh, by axios we'll send our request to the backend uh, we will use mongodb and from the app router it's serverless router you know it's like almost like serverless or lambda like server so it will send our our values to the backend and data and all the data will be saved in the mongodb so no more today so if you like the video please like share and subscribe stay tuned in the next video we'll connect to the mongodb and send our data to the database okay thank you very much see you soon